have a big favor to ask. I need your help, okay? If you would, please, in the comments below, type, let's go wife, let's go wife, let's go wife. Just everyone, just write it, let's go wife, all right? We need to cheer on this couple here on the board, all right? I've been working with this gentleman now since the beginning, I should say. Like he's been with me for a while now. I've been watching my channel, been applying the concept, been applying velocity banking. And for the longest, he knows it, I know it, that we could go so much faster with our velocity banking results, our debt payoff timeline, if we could just get our spouse on board. I know I have so many clients that say, Velocity banking doesn't work, but they haven't even looked at it yet. They haven't watched a single one of my videos. They haven't taken the time to be open-minded and to receive something that they've never seen before, right? This is foreign, and, and I know how challenging this can be, whether you're the husband that's trying to convince wife, like this gentleman on the board, or you're the wife trying to convince your husband who has too much pride and won't listen to a 23-year-old kid uh, teach them about money management and how to get out of debt and how to live a financially free life. I get it. So I think with a community involved, right, if we can come together and say, hey, let's go wife or let's go husband, let's make this happen. All right. So please, in the comments below, just type in let's go wife. All right. Because this video that I'm making is literally not only for him, but it's for his wife to see the numbers broken down, everything, okay, everything, okay? We're not leaving out Jack, okay? We're, we're really gonna show this, all right? So let's dive into the scenario here. We have a gentleman making 59.77 a month, okay? And we just had a rich guy just fly over my building with his jet, might've been Grant, who knows? Uh, expenses are $52.74, debt $573,600, oh my God, and cash flow is seven oh three. dollars Now, way back, he was not at this cash flow, so he's been making progress. Let me just say that. From, from the time of him starting up until right now, and recently he became a lifetime client. He was on the Patreon page. He was contributing what he could to this channel to help me grow this channel and help me reach more people and help me help other people and in return I was helping him along the way and finally he made that move joined the lifetime program which by the time I post this video will be closed I'm at 43 total and I've got like six seven spots remaining so I, I know it's gonna be gone because literally in like the past 72 hours I had like 16 people sign up for the lifetime program. So people really are seeing value in what I'm providing. Um, so hop on board if you are still contemplating. But anyways, line of credit, 25,000 at 7.5%, okay? And here's the scoop. The first debt that we want to wipe out, okay, is gonna be this car right here, 33,000, $235.50 and the monthly payments $454. All right. And here are some key things that are going to be happening from June to the end of this year, 2019. Okay. He's going to get a $1,500 refund from something. I forgot what it was. He works overtime. So that's on a monthly basis. He works overtime. So this is base, right? Anything above that is going to help his cash flow. We're not going to include that, but I just want you to be aware of it. And I'm going to show you why I, I had that there. And then we have an end of year bonus for 4,000. Okay. So these are extra monies that we'll be getting to help us improve the whole concept here. And we are going to be making an $11,000 chunk payment from the line of credit to the checking account. The checking account pays the car okay now one thing to be aware of and I'm sure some of you have this same 
um, you know, a contingency plan with your debts is this payment right here. No, no, no matter how much I pay extra in any given month, I still have to pay the monthly payment. So you know how sometimes I'll be like, okay, when we when we chunk, it's going to satisfy the month's payment, right? So it, so the chunk is part of the payment, okay? Which would satisfy the payment. So I don't actually have a 454 payment coming out of this. It came out of here. And then this pays back that, okay? Well, in some cases, even when I put this $11,000 chunk towards the debt, I still have to pay the 454. So total, $11,454 will be going into this car payment, right? In that same month, the chunk month, okay? The chunk month for us is May 30. Okay, that's our chunk date. Okay, May 30 or 31st. It's like literally like the last couple of days of May is when he's making his chunk and then come June he'll still have to pay the 454 so I just want to lay that out so you understand okay another thing this gentleman gets paid bi-weekly all right on the 10th and the 25th of every month all right that's another thing I want you to be aware of as we're going through this strategy and last but not least we have three thousand dollars cash ola on hand in the checking account -o. so as soon as i make my junk boom three thousand going right into the line of credit which will do what it'll satisfy whatever the month's payment is on the line of credit itself therefore i will not have one and the interest rate 7.5 percent will be calculated at 8,000 as opposed to 11,000 okay I want you to be very very clear with that so now let's let's look at this let's look at this okay we got $11,000 chunk okay brings the balance down okay that's that's gonna be the layout right there of what the car is gonna be looking like so May 11,000 goes in okay Brings the balance down. Now I owe 11000 on the line of credit. What do I do? I put my cash on hand. Okay. Cash on hand goes into the line of credit. Brings the balance down. Now, from May, the last couple of days of May, to June 9th, to June 9th, the day before I get paid, we evaluated. We said, okay, how much money am I going to spend? from the day I made my chunk to the day before I get paid, right? Let's look at it. We came up with a number, 1208. So that means 1208 is coming out of the line of credit into the checking account. Checking account pays my bills, all right? Those are expenses. Brings the balance up to 9208 on June 9th. Now, if you're wondering, Denzel, you did not include interest costs. Hear me out. Ready? This is what I'm doing because I know that he works overtime and he is getting a $1,500 refund within the next couple of weeks. I'm allowing this, okay, to cover whatever I don't include for interest costs. Now, I want you to do the math so that you can see what the interest costs would be. Just take whatever the balance is on any given day, times it by 7.5, that gives you the yearly, right? That gives you the annual interest rate that you would pay over 365 days. And you just take that number that you got, the total number, divided by 365, that's how much you would pay daily. So I'm only gonna pay interest from the day that I chunked to the very next time I put money in. Okay, so what is that period from um, May, the last couple of days of May and the first nine days of June. Okay, so like 
a 13, 14, about, about a two week period, right? In between each time I get paid, because I get paid, paid bi-weekly, right? So if you did the math, we're talking peanuts in terms of whatever interest I pay on the line of credit. And I always say this, I don't pay interest on the line of credit. What, like even if you see it show up on your account, hey, you paid this much in interest. But let me ask you a question. Without even factoring this stuff that we don't account for, right? Because we always play our numbers conservative when we're on the board, right? So without even accounting for this extra stuff, this alone, this 11000 if I paid it towards the car, 11000 principal, shaved, cut off, off the total balance of the car, how much interest do you think I would save on the car? Could I safely say a thousand, two thousand, probably even more than that, right? Off eleven thousand dollars principal, okay? How much interest do you think I would save off of that, right? So if all I did was save fifteen hundred bucks, let's just say, and, and you want to look at this with your debts as well, you want to see. How much is my chunk actually saving on interest alone? Not the principal going down, but on interest alone, how much money am I saving, right? And let's just say it's $1,500, right? So if it's $1,500 in, in interest savings, okay, then whatever I pay over here is gonna be a portion, a little portion of what I would have paid over there, right? So a little portion is coming from this 11K. I saved $1,500 in interest. A portion of that $1,500 is getting moved over here to the line of credit. My question to you is, do I pay interest? No, especially if I'm going to wipe out what I used in like six, to nine months on average with most cases that we run here. So let's keep going. All right, I just wanna make sure you get that. Okay, cause you know, I'm, I'm talking to wife right now and for all my, I'm talking to the naysayers, I'm talking to the people that don't believe this and it blows my mind. Let's hear the numbers. Here it is, right? Come on. So on the June 9th, 9208, the next day I get paid, bomb. Income goes in, 29.8850. You know, I just took the number divided by two. All right? From June 10th to the, the day before I get paid again, 25th. So from June 10th to the 24th, is how much money I'm going to spend. 1746, balance goes back up. Okay? And we're going to keep doing it over and over and over again. And we're going to track this. So if you really follow through, right, every mark here is a pay period right so you can see the balance starting from 11 with the help of cash on hand and then doing velocity banking conservatively see the balance go from 9 to 79 73 62 right you're, you're seeing it drop all right so income goes in expenses come out balance income goes in expenses come out balance Here's another question a lot of people get. It's like, oh, Denzel, my, my expenses fluctuate and my income fluctuates. Hey, none of that matters. None of that matters. We know our numbers. We're taking conservative, okay, especially if you have fluctuating income. I'm going to use conservative numbers and run it through and see how it looks, right? So stay with me, right? Balance, July 9th, right? Day before I get paid, boom, income goes in July 10th. From July 10th to 24th, expenses, bomb. Balance, income, expenses, ooh. Denzel, what happens when I uh, spend more than what I put in? Hmm, does that affect me? Not necessarily. Not if you keep, if you kept doing it, yeah, we might have a problem. Okay, yeah, we might be going back up. We don't want to do that. But there are going to be times some people have a lot of their bills come out at the beginning of the month, towards the end of the month, 
right? So for this gentleman, he has a lot of his bills that come out from the 25th to the 9th, which is the end of the month towards the beginning of the new month, right? So it's like a lot of stuff comes out right there. But notice how it doesn't have so many bills from that 10th to 24th. So that's our window space to get that cash flow to help bring the balance down. Does that make sense? Okay. And while this is all going on, I'm still paying my 454 as if nothing changed, right? I'm still paying it. A lot of people ask that question. Oh, Denzel, you know, 11,000, does that satisfy six months of payments or four months? No, 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 no. We're trying to pay the damn thing off. So we're going to keep making the payments, right? Keep it going. 33, 30 expenses come out. Boom. Here's my balance. It's a little bit higher than that. You're like, whoa, what's going on? Income goes in, right? Expenses come out. Look at that. 5,500. We're getting close. Income goes in. Whoa. Expenses come out again, right? We got that expensive time period. That's okay. Expenses go up. Income goes in. Expenses come out. Look, we're in September. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're looking at June, July, August, right? August, September. Now we're coming into October. Look at that balance coming down, coming into October. Income going in, expenses coming out once more again. Bringing the balance back up. October, income goes in, expenses come out. Look at that balance. Yes. 4000 right? 4000 where are we? Let's see. Let me look at my notes here. October 10th. Yep. October, beginning of October 9th. So October 9th. We're right here with this balance, okay? Income goes in, expenses come out, balance. Now we're October, this was October 10th to the 24th, right? Income goes in, end of October going into, so from that October 25th to November 9th, that time period right there here's my balance okay conservatively right we didn't even like we didn't even include this we're gonna get this and we're gonna get that that alone would bring this to zero prior to around October would you agree and then also working overtime he gets an additional like 300 bucks right so his cash flow can actually look like a thousand so if you were to factor that in would you agree with me that definitely the line of credit would zero out right around the middle of October, okay? But we're going to say November, all right? We're just going to say November or even more conservative because I put in my notes. You know, I'm like super conservative. I'm saying December of 2019, I make my next chunk. I'm going to up it a little bit to 13000 okay? So 454 times six months, because that's how many months have passed, right? From you do June, July, August, September, October, November. I didn't even count December, okay? So just from June to November, 454 times six plus the 11,000, right? Brings the balance down. And we're gonna chunk 13,000 in December from the line of credit, oh, there's my balance. 6500 $6,500, okay, $6,500, okay, we're getting somewhere. Now, now, check this out, ready? Once we pass into the new year, 2020, okay, we're going to do velocity banking all over again. We're going to repeat the steps, okay? Now we owe $13,000 on the line of credit with this bonus that'll bring the balance down okay without even factoring this in without even factoring that in come april of 2020 the balance on the car should be just under five thousand dollars okay you have you have december's payment january february march four more payments of 454 should bring the balance just under $5,000. Now, do you think 
we have space in the line of credit to go ahead and just wipe that out. So you mean to tell me by April of 2020, April of 2020, $33,000 gets paid off. That's 11 months, my friend. 11 months to pay off a car, okay? And then how long do you think it would take me to zero out the line of credit itself so that I can jump into the next debt that I want to pay off? Well, I'd, I, I would be brave enough to say by, by June, right? By June or sooner, even sooner than that because of this, 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 that, okay? He's also going to get a raise next year, right? Most people keep going up, right? Now, on this channel, that's what we want to do. We always want to focus on rising up. So you can, you can get an increase at your job. You can get a promotion, right? You can get a bonus, right? So different things are going to put things into place. Plus, since I no longer have a 454 payment after April, right? This is conservatively doing this. April, right? No longer have the 454, I'll definitely zero out that line of credit and prepare, prepare for my next chunk. I don't know. Help me out. Let's go, wife. Let's go, wife. Let's go, wife. Come on, right? So here we go. 11 months to pay off $33,000 of debt. Increase my cash flow by 454, okay? And now... What we can do, another thing that this gentleman wants to do, he wants to put in place, is he wants to get the policy. He wants to do, he wants to do velocity banking and infinite banking put together. And I know a lot of people, ever since I've been making those combination videos, I want that. Give me that. I want that, right? It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool strategy. It really can work, right? If you do the numbers, it's like, you know, pretty interesting. So what I was, what we're going to uh, design, we get through this period right here. If we can show wife, if we uh, conservatively, Lord, conservatively, I know these numbers to be true. There, There is no fault, right? 7.5% that this is, there is no cost, right? I'm, I'm, I'm shifting a portion of, of whatever interest I pay on this 33 and I'm putting it right here a portion of it I'm talking 40 50 dollars a month in interest as opposed to 40 50 percent of 454 okay I, I'm talking peanuts in terms of interest costs I'm offsetting what I would have paid over there and just shifting it over here and then moving this money over there to pay off the thing right so I don't have it anymore. Oh, Lord. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Right? So come 11 months, car's done. And then we go ahead and start this policy. Right? If the line of credit is at zero by, I don't know, April, May, June, let's just say. Right? We, we, we start designing it in April and we get it enforced by like May, June. Okay? Could take any chunk amount between eleven and thirteen thousand, okay, to the line of credit, right? From the line of credit to establish the policy, right? Borrow a chunk out of the policy to pay bills, pay debts. Or we would choose which bills we want to pay, right? And then what can we do? This line of credit becomes a funding tool. That's it. Becomes a funding tool. And then your income is a, is a place that rather than the checking account, you just park it in the line of credit. Just park it in the line of credit. You park it there, you don't even have to use it. Right? Because you're going to be taking chunks out of the policy to either pay bills or pay off debts. We would decide which one we'd want to go. If we're going to pay off a debt, 
then we're going to keep using the line of credit just like we would here, right? Income goes in, expenses come out. Income goes in, expenses come out, right? But see, when we made the initial chunk, right, this initial chunk to start the policy, we're giving it three and four and five uses, the same money, using one money one time here. That's a second time. That's a third time. And then income, same money, a fourth time. Oh, my God. Who am I talking to? My name is Denzel Rodriguez. If you're new to this channel, I hope you enjoyed this class. Subscribe. Like the video. Please comment below. Let's go, wife. Get her on board. Because let me tell you, if in 11 months, conservatively, I can pay off 33000 do you know what I can do aggressively? Do you know what, what they can do together aggressively? I mean, I mean, I'm talking eight, nine months to pay off a car, probably sooner than that to pay off the car. What? And then probably start the policy this year. And still ugh, pay off debt. I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know. Hope this stuff helps. My name's Denzel again. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And let's see if wife gets on board.